Okay, so in this podcast we're going to be looking at two systems. We're going to be looking at the cardiovascular system and the muscular system in the form of an exam question. And the exam question is this. Describe some of the effects of participation on the body's cardiovascular and muscular systems. And you're guided to talk about the immediate and short-term effects of participation on each system and the long-term effects on each system. So let's have a look then by starting with the cardiovascular system and the short-term effects. Hopefully you'd be able to think of straight away that when we start exercising there would be an increase in heart rate. So that would be one point, heart rate increases. Secondly, we might say that blood pressure increases because the amount of blood that's pumped out of the heart per contraction increases and that's actually systolic blood pressure which increases. So there's three points there. Heart rate increases, systolic blood pressure increases and there's an increase in blood pressure. With regards to the immediate or short term effects of the muscular system, we might say that there's an increased demand of oxygen or energy to the working muscles. We might say there's an increased carbon dioxide production in the working muscles. We might say that the temperature of the muscles increases. We might say that the lactic acid production within the muscles, particularly or especially during anaerobic work, increases. And that we might say that the muscles fatigue or get tired. Those would be the answers or responses we'd be looking for for the short term effects on both of those systems. If we move on then to the effects on the long term, so the long term effects on these systems because of participation. With regard to cardiovascular system, we might say there would be an increased strength or size of the heart muscle with prolonged regular physical activity. We might say that increased stroke volume comes about due to the increased strength of, cardi of the cardiac muscle, so the heart's getting stronger, which means the stroke volume increases. We might also say there's an increase of cardiac output. We might also say that there's an increased capillarization that means the increased number of capillaries around the heart and the working muscles and also an increase in the number of red cells produced. We would also perhaps look to say that there may be a drop in the resting heart rate which is directly related to an increase in stroke volume. So there's plenty of points there and if you want to review that just pause this and rewind and listen to that again. Plenty of points there on the cardiovascular system. With regards to the long-term effects on the muscular system, we might say that there would be an increased strength of ligaments and tendons. We might say there's an increased strength or size of the skeletal muscle themselves. It leads to strength of muscular endurance or an increase in muscular endurance. We might say that there was an increase in the mitochondria, which is the site of aerobic respiration within the muscle and we might say there's an increased myoglobin which is where oxygen is stored within the muscle. So plenty of points there. Just a recap, when you're asked about the effects of participation on a bodily si body system, particularly cardiovascular and muscular systems, break it down into the short-term effects and the long-term effects. If you do that and you structure it in a way that we've done looked at in this podcast, you'll be well on your way to scoring some great marks if you're going to get a question like this. Good luck with it.